Lindsay from Domer Home and today I am bringing you guys a thrift and clearance haul. So this haul is seriously massive. This is a cumulative haul of a couple of trips that I've taken to the thrift store and to Kohl's and I have not shared a thrift haul in several months. So I thought it was about time to do another one with you all. So all of the items that I'm bringing you guys today are all neutral items, very shabby chic, and very cottagey. So I hope that you guys enjoy the haul. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love it if you would subscribe. I do a lot of DIY and home decor related videos. So to start, we are going to go through my two items that I got from Kohl's. Both were on massive clearance. And I got them with an additional 15% off coupon, and I also had a $10 promotional gift, which was $10 off, $10 or more. So here is the first item I got from Kohl's. They had a whole bunch of these wreaths, guys, and I just could not resist from getting this one, and I almost grabbed more. But if you guys have been to Kohl's, you know how small those carts are. And so I just got this one wreath. And it has all sorts of vegetables on it. I think it's supposed to be a spring or Easter style wreath because of the bunny rabbit. I might tear the bunny off because I'm not a big like bunny rabbit person. And you guys know me, I love moss and gardening, so I love this wreath. And I think that this would look perfect on my front door and it has a lot of vibrant colors in it which will look very pretty from the exterior. I may also swap out the burlap bow. This one is looking kind of sad and I might put a bigger one on there. So this wreath was listed at $5.99 and the original price of the wreath was $59.99. So I got this for less than $5 with my 15% off and my $10 off. So the next item I got from Kohl's Clearance was this picture frame. It says it is a farmhouse style picture frame. It is white, it has this really pretty scroll design on it, and it is slightly distressed. The original price was $23.99. I am not quite sure who would pay $24 for such a small picture frame. I don't know, but I got it for less than $5 as well. The clearance price is $4.79 and I did get it for less because of my discounts. Okay, so moving into my thrift store items, I got this little display, and I thought it was very, very shabby chic. It has the bird on the top, and you guys know me, I love birds and bird houses and birds' nests, things like that. I don't actually like real birds, I don't know. It has these clip-on butterflies, which are a little tacky, shall we say, so I'm going to take those off and do something else with them eventually. But this was $3.99, and I thought that was a pretty good deal because to find something like this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby would have been significantly more. I got these cotton clouds. They are very, very fragrant. It says that they smell like seagrass. I'm not really sure what seagrass is supposed to smell like, but it smells like seagrass. And they are just very neutral flowers. And I think that I might turn these into some sort of a wreath or a topiary. I'm not quite sure yet, so you'll have to stay tuned for some future DIY videos. But this was only 99 cents. So I got this organizer for my desk or for our command station. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this, but I love the neutral color of it. And it is also slightly distressed, so that is a plus. And it is in pretty good condition. It was originally listed at the thrift store for $5, but I got it for $2.50 at half off. And you can see, you can see on the back, it is originally from TJ Maxx, and it was $9.99 at TJ Maxx. I got this really cute throw pillow, and it has a cover that is removable. I'm just going to toss the whole entire cover and pillow into the washing machine to give it a good clean, because we don't know where this has been. But the pillow was listed at the thrift store for $2, and I got it for $1 and half off. And it is in really great condition. The buttons are working and everything, and I just love the neutral color. I think it's going to go perfectly in our living room or maybe in our bedroom for any season. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love little houses as well. And so I got two little wooden houses to do some DIYs to, so I hope you guys stay tuned for those videos. But I got this little wooden house. It was 99 cents. It has a little hook on the back to hang it up on the wall. And it had these little Easter springtime figures. There's a little lamb right there and a little bear in a bunny outfit. 
don't know what they were thinking. And they were all glued in here. We are missing some, but that is okay. My daughter took some out to play with. But I am just going to either toss little figurines or give them to her for her dollhouse. And you will just have to stay tuned to see what I use this for. I've also done another previous DIY using a wooden house a little bit bigger than this. And I did a little DIY to that thrift store item. And I will link that project up above for you guys and down below in the description box if you are interested in seeing that DIY. So here is the second house that I got. It is that 90s country look. It's kind of like the farmhouse before farmhouse was a thing look. And it was marked at $3, but I got it for $1.50. And I think it is supposed to be, I'm hoping that it is supposed to be a tissue box holder. So it is hollow inside, and it has the little hollowed out chimney in there. And I think that's where you pull the tissues through. I'm not sure. I haven't actually stuck a tissue box in here yet to see if it fits. So hopefully it will hold a tissue box and I can't wait to do a little makeover and get rid of these little geese, ducks, these little ducks. Can't wait to get rid of those. For 99 cents I got this tin. It is in really great condition. Unfortunately I wasn't paying super close attention. I didn't know that it said coffee on it. I thought it was blank but apparently I was just looking at it from the back and I didn't thoroughly look at the item before I purchased it. But that's okay, I will do something with it anyway. I can just turn it around and use the back and have it be empty, or I can use it as decor for my kitchen. So I got two of these planters. I'm not quite sure what they're made of, kind of a plaster-like material, I'm not sure. So one is $1.99 and one is $1.49. So I like how chippy and distressed they are. They look very aged. So I think I may use them to put some topiaries in or some flowers. I'm not quite 100% sure, but you can expect to see them in a home tour or another DIY video really soon. I also got this cute green candle holder. It is metal and it is already showing signs of rust and I don't think it's supposed to be rusty originally, but you can tell something was dripping on it. But I like the rust marks. I think it adds a lot of age and character to it. So this was marked at a dollar and I got it for 50 cents. And I assume this little pointy thing is to put a pillar candle on so it doesn't move. So I might try to saw that off or figure something out. You can never have too many of these milk glass vases. I love the hobnail design. It is my favorite out of all the milk glass designs. And this was $3 for the set of two, but I got this for 50% off, so for the set of two, it was only $1.50. I got this basket for $2, but I did not pay $2. I paid $1 for it because it was half off. And I think that this would look really cute on a hook near my front door with some fresh flowers inside. And hopefully I will be able to post a video of that soon as well for you guys, so stay tuned. This cute little vase is pretty dirty. It's got some sticky stuff spilled on it, so I'm going to have to get some Goo Gone out and clean it off. But it was marked at $2, but I got it for just $1. And you can see that it is originally from Home Goods. I'm not sure what the original price was, but probably something closer to $5 or $6. But this pink color, I think, is perfect for Sayla's room. If you have not seen her bedroom, I will link above my original room tour. It is my very first YouTube video, so be kind if you watch it. The quality is not great, and I am really, really awkward in that video. But if you would like to see what her room looks like, I will link that video above for you guys. Although I should post for you guys an updated room tour of her room because we've since gotten rid of the crib and put a big girl twin bed in there. So for $1.99, I also got this hook thing. If anyone knows what this is actually called, please comment down below because I don't know what it's called. But it does expand, and it is pretty dinged up. I might have to repaint it. I am not quite sure where this is going to go yet, but when you can find things that you've been looking for and they're only $1.99, you have to pick them up. So I will find a place for this and you will see this in a future room tour or home tour video. So I got this bag of planters and plant related items for only 
$4, although I did not pay $4, I paid $2 for this. So let's open it up and check out what is inside. So inside are these little wooden signs. They have black wire handles, very, very 90s country again. But they have decoupage on them, some vintage looking seed packet labels. And I thought these were pretty cute. Navy blue isn't really a color scheme in our house. But I figured I could still find a place for these. So on the back, these do have some command strips that the previous person had attached to the back. And I will probably just remove those and use some nails to hook these onto the wall with. Also in the bag were these copper plant markers. They are starting to show some water damage, but I think that adds a little bit of character to them. They are written on already with Sharpie, but you can remove Sharpie with Goo Gone if you did not know that. And so I will try to relabel them and stick these in one of our planters outside, maybe the one with the herbs. And if you guys missed our planter video, I will link that for you guys as well. It is one of our most recent videos, and you can see what we are doing to our front exterior and some of the plans we have for that this season. So I also picked up this glass pumpkin, and not only is it going to be really cute for the fall this year, but I can use it for my daughter's Cinderella themed birthday party this summer. And this was listed at $2, but I got it for only a dollar. And I think that this is going to be really, really cute. If you guys want to see a video of her Cinderella themed birthday party and all of the decorations that I come up with for that, please leave a comment down below and I will make sure to film a video for you guys. So that about wraps up my massive thrift store and clearance haul. And if you like thrift hauls and you enjoy this one, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below with what your favorite item from the haul was. I would love to bring you guys more hauls if it is something that you guys enjoy watching. And I have a ton of DIY ideas in my mind for how I want to transform some of these items. So make sure that you guys stay tuned. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you are a subscriber so you don't miss out on those awesome videos that are coming up soon. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, especially if you made it to the end. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys are having an awesome week, and I will see you guys really soon in the next video. Until then, bye! Mm.